Hello guys, today I finally have a new video. Um, I also have a new m headset, um, so a new microphone as well. It might be a little bit better, um, I don't quite know. Um, but I'm still too lazy to remove the background noise, so yeah. Um, so what I have is an instant carry binary uh, adder. Um, not adder, counter, sorry. Um, so it uh, just counts when you press this button and as you can see um, it um, instantly carries to the next uh, bit. It might look as if there's some delay because of the lights which take a tick to turn off but not on. Um, but yeah you can see it even more clearly uh, when you look at the pistons. So yeah it does exactly what you would expect it uh, to do. And as you can see it's quite small, um, it's really simple, it makes use of the properties of a butt switch where it updates its neighbor instantly so you can basically make an infinitely long um, signal um, uh, that yeah, carries a signal instantly with this. Um, so that was just a way to update it uh, on only one edge, so all you have to do to make it increase uh, by one is give this piston an update. And as you can see, when you give this an update, it sends a signal right here to its own piston, pushing it um, back again, making a one tick right here. That one tick will spit out the block right here, and it will also spit out the block here. And when this block gets spread out, um, it will power this piston. Um, so basically that blocks this piston from extending, uh, allowing or not allowing the signal to go through. So as you can see now it doesn't allow the signal to go through because this piston can't extend. And yeah, that's basically all. It's a really simple um, way of doing it. And yeah, it's really nice in my opinion. So this one isn't actually instant as you can see, there's this repeater and then there are still some other piston timings before um, this um, redstone block gets dropped down. Um, so for that reason, uh, Cellulance and I also made a smaller, ver uh, not smaller, faster version of it. Um, but it's a bit bigger, so um, let's take a look at that one I guess. So here it is, as you can see it's quite a big, uh, bit bigger, um, still decent I would say though. Um, but this one, um, well this input system here isn't actually instant, but as you can see it's um, really fast after I press the button. So if I remove this, and now um, when you update this piston it will instantly change the uh, output as you can see so yeah it's really damn fast um, the only delay there is is on the uh, reset of it uh, which makes it only be able to work with a 5 tick clock so as you can see here I uh, connected the clock with it um, which is updating the piston and basically this is the fastest um, you can trigger it after each other but at the moment that it does trigger here, it will instantly um, give the new output. Um, you can only take the output from it at um, this uh, position right here. This redstone dust will update instantly. If you try to get the output from the retracted state of the piston, so right here. Um, it won't actually be instant, it will uh, have some delay when retracting, as you can see right here. Um, so yeah, if you would use it, make sure to get the output from here. Um, so yeah, as said, it um, only supports a 5 tick clock, which is actually still kind of slow. Um, so for that reason, we try to make it um, reset a little bit faster. So for that, we made it a bit bigger again, um, and now the best we could do in a short time um, was make it uh, work with a 3 tick clock. So let's take a look at that one. So here's the last design. Um, this one goes one block further backwards, as you can see. Um, but this one works with a 3 tick clock. 
So this one is um, quite fast. So if you're making, I don't know what, that requires uh, some uh, high speed and an ins uh, binary adder, um, yeah, you could use this design. I provided the uh, schematics um, in one file in the description. It will contain all three of these designs um, extended to uh, 8 bits like this. And um, yeah, that's it for me today. See you all later. Bye.